Golly gee, I'm so excited to use my brand new fabric. Hello folks, my name is Stephanie Canada. If we're meeting for the very first time, yes indeed, that is my real last name. And no, I don't live there. In today's video, I'm gonna take these scraps and turn them into a dress. Now, one thing that I have learned over the years of being my size, basically a waist 32 and up since the time that I can remember, is that while I do love the vintage aesthetic and vintage dresses, as a vintage buyer of things, I don't find those as readily available. So, sometimes I just decide to make it for myself. As you can see with my liquor label here that I'm wearing from when I did this video. Now, the fun thing about this project for me is that I am going to be using at least the bodice portion of this exact pattern again, because I actually really like the way this one fits. I don't exactly remember the changes I made, so I might have to reinvent the wheel, but hey, Nothing says being a YouTuber like forgetting what you did and having to rewatch the exact footage so you can actually vaguely remember what you did. Oops. And what I'll be doing for the skirt portion is I will actually be using the couple of panels that I have here. We're just gonna do a simple gathered skirt and cross your fingers that I can figure out how to make both a pocket and a zipper on the side function together. Because I think I allotted myself three of these panels for the skirt. And that just basically means that I have to cut into one of them and make it slightly smaller and try and do the things. And yeah, we'll, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I did not realize this had completely fallen off my head. Cool. So much for the cute hat piece. Let's just go ahead and grab our coffees and do this thing, shall we? Hello! You can tell every uh, puppy and tell you what's going on. All right, so here's what we got. Uh, besides the dog on my hand. <laughs> I'm being licked. So I have my pattern. Simplicity 39, 32, check. I have a giant pile full of apron scraps that I'm hoping to turn into a dress. I will also be using a dead stock metal zipper, like I always do. And I will be using these scraps to attempt to make something. So, hooray. Hey, hey, excuse me, you're not helpful. Can you sit over here? <laughs> no, I want to be the center attention, mom. So I have two panels here that are like 32 or something stupid. I don't have my measuring tape. You think I would have that, but I don't. And they're about 37 inches wide. So I have three, there was two down there first off, four, and I have five panels of trees, which is sort of the money shot, if we're being honest. Money, money, money! I'm sorry. And then we have these things. So this is the other part of the selvedge. So thankfully, I can actually hopefully make something with this. You can see these probably were gonna be the waistband or possibly ties for the apron situation. That never happened. And then I also have these weirdo pieces. I think I have, I want to say I have five of each of those two. Three, two, oh no, interesting, you're not. Three, uh, 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 four, uh, uh, uh. And five, cool. So I have five of the weird Thor's hammer thing happening action here and one of the rectangular pieces. And so I started to lay pieces out. I was really hoping to fit the bodice onto the ornament section, only to be thwarted by it being far too small. And as I didn't want to do that much pieces, I decided to say screw it and go to the trees. And then I stared at the trees for a good long while and adjusted and readjusted and hemmed and hawed. Before I decided to just say screw it and go with this, white fabric that I used to line my sleeves with the 1930s bodice, since I still had some lying around. And 
here you can see where I'm adding a half inch to my center fold at the center back of this bodice piece, as well as the back neck facing, which I don't actually show on camera, which means that I add a full extra inch to my back just to allow me a little bit more wiggle room. Is this why my dress is a little bit too large up top? It's a Kobayashi Maru. We may never know. Oh wait, yes we do. That's exactly why it's baggy. But, oh well, I made the choice, I have to live with it. Good morning, and welcome to day number two. Yes, indeed, I did only throw some things on my uh, carry-on luggage under my eyeballs and some lipstick, so I don't look like a potato. Okay, so back on track. Last night, I got everything cut out. Well, huh, skirt was already done. Thanks, person before me. Because this is a pattern that I've done on this channel before, I actually didn't bother to record this because, well, y'all have seen this twice now. But this one is cut two pattern. No adjustments are made to the front, in case you're following along at home. And I did find this white in my stash because I could not reconcile. Blah. The trees would have curved upward. It just, it, no, no, it just would look terrible. But this is all the white I had. And I'm trying desperately not to touch it with my fingers because I'm afraid I'm just gonna get stuff on it. <laughs> I made a white dress, y'all. This might not have been a good plan. <laughs> anyway, I know this pattern. I've used this pattern a lot. I really enjoy it. The one thing I will say is that I did not take into account whatever this white fabric is. It likes to fray a lot. But thankfully, I had the foresight to make sure that I put the selvage right here on the fold over. So this front section, I don't have to do a daggone thing too, except I do still need to tack it down right here at the front. And I need to do some like some type of reinforcing or seam binding something to this front because, oh boy, otherwise this is going fray. And I don't want this to fall apart because I waited three years to make this project. So I would like it to not fall apart the first time I wash it because it's white, it's gonna be washed. So. We're gonna put some darts in this, we're gonna put the bodice together, and then I'm gonna figure out exactly how I'm going to do the skirt because it's a little short for me. So I'm debating putting like a tier and then the panel. Still haven't decided. This is going well. All right, well, this is just me stalling because I don't wanna do darts. So I guess let's do some darts. Darts, check. Shoulder seams, also check. Did I state that after I did the rolled hem on my daughter's pinafore dress that I hated them and would never do them again? Yes. Did I also do them on this project because this fabric frays like a mother? Also, yes. To do the hand stitching, I decided to relocate down to my couch and got a little distracted. She's so cute! Starting strong with one of my favorite Christmas movies while doing yet more hand sewing. That's right, Die Hard is a Christmas movie. Don't at me. Now comes the part that involves some serious mental math. I had to first find the pieces that would actually vaguely line up when I sewed them. Well, okay, that didn't actually work, but I did find the one where they had cut it down the middle. That's the same thing, right? Anyway, after staring at this for a while, I decided to remind myself that piecing is period. And I was just going to go ahead and add that top tier no matter how it looked. So once I laid this all out, I started by making sure to pin each of the sections at the, along the top until I got myself one nice front and back panel combined. My pattern matching was only passable because, well, I was using what I had. But of course, you can't be without a pocket. 
and my super awesome method of making sure it fits. That's right, laying my hand on top and vaguely putting pins where I want them. And then we were finally to the epic task of gathering down four yards of fabric into one skirt. This takes a lot longer than it did in the sped up version. Trust me. I actually sewed one half and then went back to do the other half, which bit me a little bit in the butt because, well, I sort of sewed the pocket in at one point, then I had to rip that out, and then it didn't line up exactly, but the top stitching fixed it, it's fine. Oh yeah, and the seam binding I had hand basted in there was um, not even remotely caught in any of the stitching, so I went ahead and ripped it out. And then with a little more finishing, we get to the reveal. Well, this project turned out quite lovely, actually. There are a couple things that I wish I would have done differently. Like, I don't know, maybe try on the bodice in this lovely thinner cotton that is a little bit larger than the last one. I hit it with the belt, but it's probably a good inch and an inch and a half too long, but yeah, I don't care. The other thing I didn't do for the actual reveal and still haven't is no, I have not hemmed this dress yet. I realize that shocks all of you, but because I used the selv edge along the bottom and I made sure to line up the bottom selv edges so that the trees would all vaguely match, I don't feel completely ridiculous about not doing that, but I'll do it eventually. The other thing that I sort of like and sort of don't like is the piecing that I had to do with the skirt because I had to add that top border section and I was really hoping I had some awesome red or green rickrack that I could like slap along that seam so that no one would know. Guess what I don't have four yards of? Because yes, this skirt is ridiculously fluffy and it's four yards worth of fabric around my skirt. I'm really pleased with how I was able to piece this all together. I do enjoy the white bodice. I am concerned about the longevity of me keeping it clean because if you've met me things tend to go from my mouth to my you know chestal region pretty quickly that's just sort of who i am so yeah if you enjoyed this fun little go around do feel free to click that like button if you want to see more adventures from me sewing and otherwise go ahead and click subscribe and if you want to actually be notified every time i do a video hit the little bell icon for funsies Thanks so much for watching, folks. We'll see y'all next time. Sewing dust. It's the best. And then what I'll be doing for the squirt? Squirt? Squirt person. No. I, of course, don't have the pattern nearby. Cause why would I do that? Damn it. Oh, where's my thingy? Right there. Oh, of course, buried under shit. Find the floof! Find the floof! Candy! <gasps> Are you gonna help me? Are you gonna help me? Say probably not, but that's okay. So I currently have, well, if I get these out of the way, I have two here, two, um, eh, ahem, ahem. Trying to do some expository here, dog. <laughs> Exposition. Do, 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 do. Christmas tree dress. I have a Christmas tree, tree dress. I dropped my phone. Cool, great, good job. All right, that's enough of that.